Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's November 1st. So it's the beginning of a month, the beginning of the week, and so many good things can happen. So I wanted to ignore Apollo. He's always noisy. <laughs> um, I wanted to hop on because I started M Fury Fit Fridays, uh, where I just show you a couple little moves that you can do that help with mobility and just simple little exercises that you can sorry, words, that you can incorporate into your daily life. Um, but I also think another important part of being fit is being fit mentally. So between motivation and mindset, like it's something that's important to talk about. This is something that I've become increasingly passionate about over the last few years. Um, I started with reading Rachel Hollis books. Now, if you know anything about Rachel Hollis right now, she's kind of treading hot water, but I still, she helped me in a time where I needed help. Um, but I started reading those books and ever since then, I've slowly dabbled more into personal development and taking care of myself. So it's just something that I really like. And of course, Apollo would chew a bone very loudly right now. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry about that. But I just want to start a little series here on helping you guys because when I did a poll in my women's community earlier this year, everybody voted for having motivation and mindset types of things. So why not just bring it to the rest of you instead of keeping it hidden in my community? Now in my community, I plan on doing more challenges and such. So if you want in on that kind of stuff, just drop a comment below and let me know. But um, so these are just gonna be little Monday morning snippets of things that I think could help you. So for me, reading every day has been a total game changer. And I don't mean reading like some sci-fi vampire book because I love those too. But read something that is personal development, something that's going to make you think outside the box, something that's going to get you out of your comfort zone because that is what a lot of us need. I was in banking for eight years and I was a really good bank teller. I'm not gonna like sit here and toot my own horn, but I did enjoy my job, but it just got to the point where I didn't anymore. So instead of just sit, staying there and staying in my routine of uh, waking up at six, getting a workout in, showering, going to work, coming home, making dinner, going and teaching a pop Pilates class, coming back home, shower, feed the dogs, feed myself, repeat, I got myself out of that situation. I could have stayed stuck. It's a great career. I was making good money. I had benefits. I had vacation time. What more could you want? So instead, I totally changed gears and I up and quit. I started commuting an hour away to a hotel job that wasn't completely ideal and took a huge pay cut and had zero benefits. But I'm saying all of this to say, you are not stuck anywhere where you're at. Will it make a big difference to you financially towards your schedule? Yes. Can it make big differences in other areas of your life? Yes. But you have to start taking those little steps to get to the big picture of what you want. Had I not quit the bank and then went to the hotel, and I, honestly, I wasn't there very long. Um, and then I was actually unemployed for two weeks because I just couldn't find another job. And But I'm just like, I can't do the hotel anymore. I don't like it. Um, I worked in a bakery for a little bit. Uh, and I was getting up at like 4 or 5 a.m. and working till noon. That was not ideal. I'm not a morning person, but I'm working on it. I actually get up between 6 and 7 now, which is, you know, normal for most people. But I'm really just not a, nor a morning person. And sorry, I have laminate floors, so Apollo just likes to throw the bone around and be so loud. But anywho, had I not taken all of those micro steps that the universe was kind of saying like, hey, why don't we go down this path? I would not have ended up where I am now being a work from home dog mom, which is what I call it because I don't have real kids. I just have my dogs and my two cats. Um, so I have my own business now and I have a team under me and it's something that I never really thought I would enjoy doing because that just always seemed like weird. <laughs> but I've always wanted to work from home. I just didn't know in what capacity. So I finally found something that works for me. And now I'm not saying all of this to be like, come join my team. This isn't what this is about. It's about finding what, oh my goodness, Apollo. Can you go play with a stuffed animal? <sighs> I swear, every time I come on live, he knows. And so he's like, I'm going to see how loud I can be to annoy my mom right now. And he's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> but um, it's not one of those things where I'm just trying to say, hey, come join my team. Because that's not what this is about at all. I want you to find what personally makes you happy. Because that is 
what's the most important thing in life? Why should you wake up every day? Because today I bet you woke up and you're like, it's Monday. I have this, this, and this. I have to go to work and then I have to do this. I just can't wait for it to be Friday night so I can have a drink. Did you wake up with that thought this morning? If so, you need to reevaluate, okay? So, start diving into some personal development books. If reading isn't your thing, and now I'm sorry, he's drinking water very loudly now. Next time, I'm just going to go lock myself in my office. I thought I would be okay down here. Um, but dive into some personal development books. Dive into some podcasts if reading isn't your thing. YouTube videos. Apollo! You are driving me insane. <laughs> He's really cute in pictures, right? If you haven't seen pictures, go scroll over my feed because there are pictures of him. Apollo's my big one, Moose is the small one. Um, but anywho, start working on yourself and make yourself happy first. I know a lot of you have kids and you have lives and jobs and you're busy, but if you don't work on yourself first, then you're not gonna be able to make yourself happy, which makes other people happy. So. They always say you can't pour from an empty cup. It's very, very true, like completely true. So start working on yourself because if, you, if you're not in the proper mindset, you're not going to be able to get very far with anything. You're just going to wake up in a slump and just on repeat for the rest of your life. And life is just way too short for that, guys. So um, anyway, with mindset, we have been trained to believe so many things about ourselves, whether everything on social media and the society that we live in, like, you're too fat, you need to go on a diet, you need to stop eating gluten because it's bad for you, you should try keto. Uh, and then just everything, when it comes to physical fitness, when it comes to mental health, all of the things, everything around us is just pressure against us rather than lifting us up. And my goal here is to help lift you up and be a light for you because I know how hard it is sometimes with just the weight of the world against you. It is so hard. I've gone through divorce and job change and moving and lost a lot of my friends because I got divorced. You know, people are always like, oh, I'll love you forever. No, like I had some of my very best friends up and leave me. And I went through some dark times. So I've been there. I can totally relate to some of you that are going through rough times. And I'm always a message away. I know a lot, of, I have a lot of brand new friends on Facebook, so hey. But I know I don't know you. But if you're ever feeling lost and in a dark place, I'm always more than happy to help. Um, but through all of that kind of stuff is where I have truly been able to find myself. I know that sounds all silly and cheesy and things like that. Like, oh, whatever. You're just, you're just drinking the Kool-Aid like everybody else. But it's true, guys. You have to retrain your brain. I, your brain, your brain. So I've actually started saying affirmations. Like, those are hard. It's hard to say. I am beautiful. I am worthy. All those things because we've been trained to not believe those things. So it can be a very, very hard thing to do. And I totally understand that. But you have to start somewhere. Start with baby steps. Tell yourself, I am beautiful three times in a row, three times a day. Or something like that. Go find a YouTube video of something that helps you. There are so many different videos out there. And again, podcasts, um, books, Currently, my favorite books are the Jen Sin uh, Sincero series. Um, she has four different books. They're totally amazing. I'm getting ready to start her last one. Um, I don't know if it's the most recent one, but it's just the last one that I'm grabbing. Um, but the, she has You Are a Badass. Um, and then she has different ones that branch off of that. So definitely go check those out if you're looking for a good place to start. Another simple thing. So I also really like John Maxwell. Um, he does Minute with Maxwell every single day and it can literally be sent to your inbox. So I just watched that video as I'm getting ready in the morning and it's just like enough to pep you up, get you, get you going. So you have to start with your mindset and believing in yourself. Take that time for yourself. You're like, Maisie, I don't have time to take 10 minutes for myself. I have to get the kids to school, get my husband's breakfast ready, get myself ready to go to work. And then I work all day and I come home and make dinner. I know, I get it. Take 10 minutes, read 10 pages a day of a personal development book or anything like that and get started because you are not stuck where you're at. You don't have to be unhappy. Choose to wake up and be like, you know what? Today's going to be a great day. Choose it. You can sit there and wallow and just be like, oh, I don't want to do this or get up and make it a great day. 
So I'm going to end it on that note. So I hope you guys have a great day, a great Monday, and I will see you on Friday for M Fit Friday. And I'll see you again next Monday for another little motivational chat. So I'll talk to you guys later.